it's very difficult to uh, just leave the military and then I felt I felt like after I left the military I didn't really know where to go I didn't know I didn't know how to sign up for my benefits I didn't know that I was at eligible for VA care uh, there's no programs in place right now that tell veterans what they're entitled to so I, I feel that if, if, a, if a small program like that is created it would alleviate a lot of stress that veterans face while they leave the military well I come from a family that I needed to go to the military pretty much to pay for my education. You know, I love my family. I'm not trying to put them down. Uh, but my parents wasn't fortunate to, you know, give me the things that I needed to go to school. So I'm very grateful for the GI Bill. I'm able to go to school and don't have to worry about bills and stuff like that because the subsidy is enough to pay for my bill. So I am grateful. I was an infantryman, but uh, when I was deployed, we didn't get shot at. So no combat action ribbon for me. But it, it's, it's a big difference being a vet, that's for sure. I, I definitely don't identify with uh, a lot of my other college peers, and that, that kind of makes it a little bit tough. But at the same time, I'm a lot more excited to learn all these new things because it's nothing like fire and maneuver. Clubs like the clubs that I'm in and, and the uh, vets at SFSU, we try to help alleviate those risks that, that veterans face um, just by helping them integrate into society. When I first came here, I transferred from LA and I really didn't know San Francisco or anyone here. So I was grateful for the Veterans Club because a lot of my close friends are veterans. It's easy to find someone who's relatable and they can help you with our mentorship program and they can help you just, you know, just to hang out and stuff like that and just feel welcome. I'm Ian Gould. I'm studying to be an accountant and uh, I deployed with 1-7 in 2009 in uh, OIF, uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom. And uh, now I serve with 223 Echo Company out of San Bruno as a reservist. I have a good time there too. Then as far as the GI Bill, that's just, that's made it possible for me to go to college, hands down. Uh, I wouldn't be able to go to school and invest in my, as much time in school as I do now if it wasn't for the GI Bill. And uh, I'd be stuck, it'd be a lot slower pace. My name is Katie Williams. I am a senior. I study microbiology, minor in chemistry. I did six years in the Navy as a jet mechanic. Um, I did two deploy in 2003 and 2005. We were in the Gulf. I was never on land, so I'm still considered OEF and OIF veteran because I was uh, present during the Afghanistan. Iraq. My name is James Small, and I'm originally from Sacramento. I deployed twice to Iraq uh, for a 12-month deployment in Crete, and then my last time a 15-month deployment in, in Ramadi. I was uh, based, I was infantry. The GI Bill is really enabling me, me to go to school, uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to go to school and focus as well as I am now on my school because the GI Bill allows me to uh, uh, just work part time and then focus 100% on school so I can get a really good GPA and go to a good law school afterwards. I'm, I'm majoring in philosophy right now, after I graduate I want to um, uh, go to law school and I would like to actually write legislation for veterans, uh, creating programs for once they, once they leave the DOD, Department of Defense, so that they can um, create like a seamless transition to civilian life uh, to, to, in order to prevent the veteran suicide and uh, other hardships veterans face.